what's interesting, when you come to Hagley, one of the things that people are really struck by is the fact that this is an industrial site. And that means that there are gears and pulleys and things, machinery in motion. So as we started thinking about Nation of Inventors, we knew that we wanted an aesthetic that captured the whole site. To be an inventor, to be an innovator, you have to be a creative problem solver. It's a lot of people coming together that have different viewpoints, perspectives, skill sets. I was honored to be asked by Jill McKenzie at the Hagley Museum and Library to come up with this inspirational art installation for the lobby of their new exhibition called Nation of Inventors. I worked with a fabulous design fabrication group in Florence, Mass called Salmon Studios. After giving it some thought in terms of what this actually could be, I was thinking, well, it would be great if we could actually create something that showed the process of invention. So I came up with this idea of looking at their patent model collection and was inspired by a few that I thought would be perfect for a steampunk kinetic art installation for the lobby. So I ended up looking at a, a patent model that's called a Velocipede. A Velocipede is an early uh, bicycle. It can either be two wheels or a tricycle, three wheels, or a mono wheel. Part of what I do in steampunk design, I fuse history plus art plus technology. So I came up with this idea of using the Velocipede, this kind of monowheel design, but creating this time traveling contraption by incorporating a horizontal wheel. very satisfying for me to be able to take an object that no longer is useful, it's kind of obsolete, time has passed by, technology has passed by, and to give it new life. So as I was starting to kind of think this through, I also uh, saw that they had this really incredible patent model of uh, an electromagnetic motor or a dynamo. A lot of times what I'm doing is I'm looking at the object, I'm looking at what I'm trying to build, and that can influence each other in terms of how it actually comes together. And another inspirational patent model at the Hagley is Governor Balls, which is regulating kind of the power of a steam engine. And so I said I'd like to incorporate that into the design too. My name is Jackson Horn. I've been the lead fabricator on this project for about a year. I think one of my favorite parts was the chain mechanism, figuring out how to run all the chain lines and get everything working smoothly. It was definitely a challenge. There's no straight line, so it's difficult figuring out how to run each line or, or figure out where the, the gears and sprockets go. A 
large portion of the Philosophy Time Machine was composed of the 1930s dentist chair. So the center seat and the front control panel are both sort of reimagined parts of the same dentist chair. So as part of the design, we were going to create a time-traveling machine and use a mannequin, which I call a Hue machine. Hue machines are these representations of these um, figures from the Victorian period, famous authors and inventors, where they come back as the machines they either wrote about or created. One of the neat things about the Bruce Hue machine is that he has this eye and the eye is looking into the future, and then on the other side is a, a mirror. So you can kind of see backwards. So from 1790 to about 1880, when you applied for a patent, you also had to submit a small scale model of your invention. Along with detailed drawings and specifications, you would send your application package to the Patent Office of the United States. If you were granted a patent, your patent model would be given a patent tag tied on with red tape. It's rumored that this red tape is where the term governmental red tape came from. As part of what is the excitement for the new nation of inventors, I wanted to show the process of what it's like to invent and build a model and the real thing. and inventing, but most of it is innovating. You are taking something that has come before you and bringing it forward and making it better. 